Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Elder Scrolls Online. My name is Fenrir Blackwolf, and today we are going to do the Mages Guild. Um, so let's get to it, shall we? So yeah, um, I'm trying to get back into the swing of things of recording and stuff. Um, so just be patient with me and I will hopefully get back into the swing of things. Your timing is impeccable. I'd hoped to find you here, Adept. What can I help you with, Shalador? The Lost has finished translating the tome. Once you're ready, join us at the Mage's Guild. Speak to the Lost when you arrive. I'll be making preparations for your first trial. And where can I find her? The Lost will be expecting you in the Mournhold Guild Hall. I'll see you there, Adept. What has she discovered? She did most of the hard work. I'll leave the explanation to her. Just know that Shea Gorath is nowhere near as clever as he thinks. She was able to unravel his nonsense and determine where you need to go. Huh. Oh, I wouldn't be too sure about that. Over here. I don't remember I just the need last a moment of your time. Can you no. To register to enter the city. The way I hear it, a pack of mercenaries and three blades helped her. Fitting for the mangy creature. <laughs> Such talk makes me wonder what you say. Shalador found you. Good to see you again. I've deciphered the spell inside the book. Are you prepared for Shea Gorath's first test? Yes, I'm ready. Excellent. It's been fascinating to work with Shalador. Even though he can't read the book, he's been an invaluable resource. I had to decipher layers upon layers of meaning hidden within the tome. And Shalador is here then? Yes, speak with the Archmage. He's meditating on the challenges ahead. I'm still somewhat drained from my effort, so he'll open the portals to the Shivering Isles for you. Thank you, Belast. Ariel, watch your steps. I'm very excited about this project. Shalador's Sanctuary would be a boon to every mage in Tamriel. Even Guildmaster Vanus approves of our work here. What can you tell me about the book? I'm so glad you asked. On the surface, it's a simple book of nursery stories from the Dunmerland of Stonefalls. But that's just on the surface. There's more to it than children's stories. So much more. Each story has hidden meanings, clever references to arcane lore, mm -hmm. twisting and turning into the depths of history. It was fascinating to fully unlock the secrets of the book. Shea Gorath may be a madman, but he's also a genius. Do you know anything about where I'm going? Not much. We tried to scry into oblivion to get a sense of the place. I couldn't see anything, but I was swept up in a strong sense of homesickness. Where are you from? I came of age where most High Elves do, the beautiful green shores of the Somerset Isles. I often think of the pink petals and soft breezes of my homeland. I'm not sure why those memories return to me today, though. 
Of course, adept. While investigating some ruins for me, you caught the notice of Archmage Shalador, ancient patron of mages everywhere. We're working with him to complete the mad god Sheagorath's trials and recover Shalador's lost sanctuary. A genuine pleasure. He has a fascinating view of history from a first-hand perspective, and his knowledge of the deeper mysteries is, well, I feel like an apprentice again. Adept, what transpires between myself and the Archmage? Brazier is ready. The last prepared it precisely, according to my instructions, of course. What is this? Bra what's the? Br what is the brazier for? We're having trouble opening a portal directly there, so we created this anchor to help us. Some trickery of Sheogorath's, no doubt. The next time around, I'm sure this won't be an issue. I'm ready. Let's go. beginning to wonder if you'd ever show up. My lord seems to derive amusement from my annoyance. You are here to retrieve a tome for that Shalidor person, correct? Yes, where can I find it? Just a moment, mortal. Lord Sheogorath asks that you perform a task first, to prove your competence. He claims to have misplaced a pair of items, items you must recover. What items? A fork and a staff. Please do try to be quick. My lord enjoys making me wait, but he's not very patient himself. I've opened a portal for your convenience. It should lead you directly to the fork. A uh, fork and a staff, got it. I'd say at your leisure, mortal, but I expect I have more time ahead of me than you do. My lord is certain he lost his utensil somewhere in Skyrim. It was during a visit to his friend Corthor in Vuldengrave. That was during the Marithic era, I believe. Okay, I'm not going to ask him about that because I already know about the Marethic Arrow. Never forget that smell. A dragon priest's tomb. Look at the treasures he's collected. Perhaps the fork is here as well. chest. Perhaps the fork is in there. Shadows move, Adept. Watch yourself. Eyes to the sky. Another group. Be stopped. Worthless. No matter. Come, face me yourself. There. Ice barrier is down. We can get through.
There you are. The fault is mine. I see you have the fork. Competently done. Impressive yes, uh, even. Yes, I have it. What now? Now, for the staff. When last we spoke, my lord recalled the discomfort of desert sand. I believe it lies somewhere within Hammerfell, in the dry and decayed hands of Prince Malil. Prince Malil? Prince Malil Alakir, the Sith of Yokuda, A formidable warrior in his day. That was over a thousand years ago, but still. I'll get the staff from the prince then. As I expected, another resting place for the dead. Sheyagorath has a sick sense of humor. What is this place? This is the necropolis, Asakala. The resting place of Prince Malil, also known as the Scythe of Yakuda. The prince's underlings were clever. They crafted magical seals to guard his resting place. And you know how to get past them? Observe the Yakudan statues. Each bears a crystal in the helm and a seal at the base. The essences you see swirling around in the air here? Their energy can be used to unlock those keystones. And how do I capture them? Here, I can grant an aura that will allow you to capture the essences as they pass through you. Collect as many of the small ones as you can. They should unlock these scarab seals on the statues nearby. I'll need to consider the other two. I can do this. This place is incredible. The ancient red guards were. Essences. Imbue them into one of the scarab seals. Who dares disturb my slumber? Good. Now to collect four more. Four. Imbue them into the other seal. You'll never best my generals. For such a superstitious, mage hating people, this place is a work of art. What do we do about the other two statues? Have you observed the sand barriers on those passages in the canyon walls? I suspect the prince's generals may be waiting within. Their essences would no doubt be more than enough to activate the other two statues. His statues? How do you, how do you know this? Very simple, adept. The seals at the basis of those statues show a scorpion and a spider. Those were the spirit totems claimed by Malil's chief generals, Sadina and Rashomta. Let's go get them then. You'll never reach Malia. Statue should have the scorpion seal at its base. A lot 
defeat, mortal. The staff is still mine. Statue will be marked with the spider seal. The crystals hum with power. Go to the center. You should find the key to Prince Malil's tomb there. Insect, you will never hold the staff. Never. I'd guess Haskell will be waiting outside. Let's go. Another successful retrieval, I see. Yes, here's the staff. Very well, then. I have instructions to have you return to the Isles. My lord would have a word with you. Ah, right on time. Welcome back. Look, Haskell! Farky's back! Oh, it's so nice to see him again! <laughs> oh, uh, good to see you too, Mortal, I guess. Yes, here they are. Wonderful! I'll just take oh, Forky. Oh, I miss you so much, Forky. Let's never, never be parted again. Oh, it gives me goosebumps just to hold it in my hand again. <laughs> and what about the staff? Ah, the Wabajack. Malil held it down in that dusty tube for so long. Say, why don't you clear its throat? Take it in hand and use it on some of these holier-than-thou temper types. What am I signing up for? Ah, no need to worry, you pretty mortal head. The Wabajack, it unleashes the potential in everyone. The unrecognized essence of artistic beauty that swells and beats within the... Look, you want the book? Whack some folks with the Wabajack! If you insist. Oh shit.
Uh -uh. A bit rusty, but not bad. So funny watching you mortals muck around with things you can't possibly understand. <laughs> I'll be needing that back then. Here it is. And as promised. Debok. Well, go ahead. Take it. Thank you. Once it's yours, it'll send you straight back to Tamriel. Funny how books have a way of transporting you. <laughs> no? Oh. Simply hold your breath, close your eyes, and count to, uh, let's say, a million. All right. Returned. Do you have the second book? Yes, here is the book. Excellent. The Circus of Cheerful Slaughter? That's quite a title. I'll begin my research immediately. Can't wait to get to it. Herbs? Oh, there, Adept. I have no taste. Well met, Adept. We. We are in need of your assistance. Belast has translated the latest book? Sort of. Belast has translated Sheagorath's tome, but we're having some trouble understanding it. She may need your assistance. Seek her out, soon as you can. Belast is working the problem out of the Stormhold Guild Hall. See you there, Adept. Why is this one proving so difficult? The Mad God is a deranged skeever. That's why it's proving so difficult. There's not so much actual text. The last two have had clues we could use to unravel his nonsense. This one is nothing but nonsense. Nonsense. I'm sure it's just a clerical error. You'll be in the academy next season for sure. Cannons rooted out a Dominion camp in those Daedric ruins. If you want to work on your technique. I'm glad Shalador found you. I need your help. What's wrong? Shea Gorath. He's made this process insufferable. I translated the last book you retrieved, but it doesn't make any sense. I can't find anything that might lead us to the next trial. I must be missing something. Maybe if I read it? By all means, Circus of Cheerful Slaughter is just there on the desk. But be careful, the treachery of the Mad God knows no bounds. I'll be careful. 
Good luck, my friend. This time, it's almost as though the runes themselves were mocking me. I translated the text relatively quickly. You can see when you read it, the words themselves just make no sense. Are you doing well? If you told me years ago that I'd do spell work with Shalador, I'd have called you a liar. I'm happy to do the work. It's the chance of a lifetime, but I can't help but feel I'm in over my head. Welcome! Welcome to the Circus of Cheerful Slaughter! Step right up, my mortal friend. The show is about to begin, and you're the star. Show what show? You're going to perform a play. My play, actually. Wrote it myself. I call it The Folly of Isolation. It's a tragedy. And a comedy. They're both at once. A, a tragedy. <laughs> Why am I doing this? You want the next tome, right? Well, I need entertainment. I can only light Prince Malil here on fire so many times before it gets boring. You understand. And what exactly do you want me to do? Before we get to your motivation, we need to set the scene. The scene. Hamriel. The three alliances are at war, and the wee little mages guild wants none of it. They want to stand alone. The play is about the alliances. Jolly good. You're paying attention. Now, this is a play in three acts. In each act, you'll isolate the guild from those bloodthirsty, political, warmongering sons of silkworms. By killing them. <laughs> killing them? Killing whom? Everyone, <laughs> right up to the high muckety bucks themselves. Just remember, you wait for your cues. You kill nobody unless it's in the script. Now, let's get going. I can't wait to see it performed. Here, Malil will even light the way for you. My soul's on Don't forget to light the brazier! Ah, oh, you daft fool. Ha! Guess it still hasn't gotten old! <laughs> I meet you up ahead at the bustling pack down of Heart Hotel. Act 1, Scene 1. A fool believing he knows better than the dashing man main character enters stage left. Before him stands an imposing sight of Arthold Helm within the three bloodthirsty races of an Ebonheart Pact wait full strides forward, facing certain dismemberment by angrily angry swamp lizards and berserk barbarians. Okay. Shall we raise the curtain? Begin the first act? I'm ready. Our opening act features the Ebonheart Pact. Ha! That rhymes, doesn't it? I'm a poet, and until now, I didn't realize it. I'm supposed to fight the whole alliance. Don't be presumptuous, mortal, or I'll banish you to the Isle of Lusty Bards. <clears throat> like I was saying, as the curtain rises, our Ebonheart friends are at peace. Allies. Historically, though, They've been at each other's throats. And if they're at peace, what do I do? Slavery, border raids, and infighting have them primed for chaos. <laughs> they just need a little push. I've written myself a part, a small but pivotal role, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> hey! You hate 
each other, remember? Oh, yeah. Get him. Turn out. Oh, 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 the fuck This is your cue. Action! This isn't my land. I need to find my way home. Oh, it's simple, my king. The mage's guild caused this infighting. It's all their fault. The mage's guild? This mewling puppy? You want trouble? Here is trouble for the pack. You'll never make a living reading all day. You need to earn some coin, the last. Even mages take their noses out of their books once in a while. You just can't stand to be around people. Pathetic. Once in a century is a mur with your talent born. We have accepted your application to join our august and storied mages guild. This is the proudest day of my life, guildmaster. Thank you. Damn the mad god! Why can't I make sense of this text? I'm such an idiot. A brief intermission. Would you like some cheese? Can we skip this? No time for witty banter, eh? <laughs> fine, fine. This act features the old Mary Dominion, cats and elves. I never had a taste for either, honestly. Too much fur and fancy. And my role is to kill more of your actors. Eh, let's play it by ear. The scene Queen Irene is addressing some of your peers. As a master thespian, you should respond to her heartfelt pronouncements as you see fit. And... action! The Mages Guild cannot turn on the Dominion so easily. You are a part of this world, like it or not. My queen, you don't understand. The Guild does not belong to any alliance. We merely wish to study in peace and solitude. Hey, quiet down front! I am trying to watch the Queen's speech! Either you're with the Dominion, or you're against us. You want to be removed from this world? Fine, I'll do it for you. Here, let me show you the path to exile. You can't ignore the world around you. Hey, Queenie! You missed a mage! This one is a member of the guild, too! Ah, good catch, Jester. Soldiers, 
Give this mage the gift of exile. Burn it! Razumdar, Captain Odreth, take care of this, sir. Oh, I like Razumdar. Razumdar? Razumdar? Can't even say his name properly. Looks like I'll have to handle this myself. You face Iren Arana of Mary in her full glory. Oh, really? We must have a place where we can study in seclusion. A place where all mages can be safe. Mother, you left me. I'm all alone. The other students, the other mages, they all hate me. You were the only one. And now you're gone. Wolfsild, I did it. I have created a sanctuary, a retreat that will endure for eons. I shall call it Ivea. Sheogora, you bastard! The folly and discognitum wasn't worth an island. I'll get Ivea back, even if it takes three lifetimes. Is it just me, or does I, did I hear some German in that in, 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 in her voice? Hmm. Interesting. <sighs> the third act always brings me down. Why is that? Because it means the play is almost over. I'm enjoying this so much, I don't want it to end. And the side shows. Have you enjoyed my little illusionary performances? Very illuminating, I think. I suppose. What do we do in this act? In 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 this last act? Oh, I won't tell you. I show you. That's the essence of storytelling. Show, don't tell. What do you think this is? Community theater? I have no idea. Well, it isn't. This is a professional production, and you are the star. I've set the scene. We can just improvise from there. Remember, show, don't tell. Stage left, we have the founder of the Mages Guild, Varnas. Stage right, we have your old, 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 old friend, 
Archmage Shalidor. And backstage, we have Velast, your new friend and confidant in the Mage's Guild. But what's this? Why, it's King Emery and his friends from the Daggerfall Covenant. No doubt he's got kind words to share. Take it away, your highness. For perpetuating the use of magic, we hereby burn you at the stake. Let your corruption be gone from this land once and for all. Huh. Seems like nobody wants you around. Ha. So, no, this is the final Need scene. help. Save your friend. Then, I'll give you me book. Uh, I'm gonna die. So much smarter than I am. I'm like a child before him. Ow. I did it as you asked. Can I have the tome now? <laughs> I don't know. Your performance was a bit uninspired at points. And you refused to eat cheese with me. We had a deal. Yes, yes. Uh, you did make me laugh. And cry. And kick Malil in the head. I suppose that's all I could ask. Take your book. Just don't eat it all at once. <laughs> How do I get out of here? The book will take you back. It knows the way. Just remember, little actor, you still have one book left. And if you thought my play was rough, just think of what's ahead. What happened? Where did you go? Yeah, Gora put me through another trial, but I have the third tome. Oh, 
I'm almost afraid to ask what happened. I hope this trial wasn't too painful. I'll start translating this book right away. We've got one more trial to go. Nice work. There's only one more trial. We'll let you know once we're finished delving through Shea Gorath's madness. Velocity were in my last trial. I was? What happened? Shea Gorath for forced me to save d duplicates of you, Vel Venice, Galarian, and Shalador. The more we deal with him, the more I'm convinced. The Mad God is a spoiled child, pulling legs off bugs just to watch them twitch. What else happened? He had me attack vision attacking visions of the alliances even their leaders some kind of commentary about shalador's goal no doubt he may be a child but sheogorath certainly knows how to make a point adept we need your support once again balast has translated the book you earned in sheogorath's mad play you know what our next challenge you know what our next challenge would be then. Aye. She's ready to summon the portal for you. I'll meet you in the aisles. Just hurry if you please, Adept. I'm worried. Where can I find her? You'll find the mistress of Incanabula in the snows of my homeland, at the Guild Hall in Windhelm. Good luck, Adept. Why did you say you were worried? It's the lost. She's been working day and night to understand these books. Shea Gorath has a warped and twisted mind, and I worry that this work is taking a toll on her. Is there anything we can do? Honestly, Adept, no. The Lost has a singular mind. As long as those books are cursed such that I can't read them, she's our best and only chance. She's almost as smart as I am. Just don't tell her I said that. Mm. Shalador found you. Excellent. I've puzzled out the hints from that last book, and I'm afraid the news isn't good. Your next trial is in a particularly nasty part of the Shivering Isles, a place called the Chateau of the Ravenous Rodent. Should I recognize that name? Not unless you've spent your life poring over obscure Daedric tomes. The Chateau is in the darkest part of dementia, the Shadowland of the Shivering Isles. I'm worried that... Velast, are you all right? I'm... I'm fine, adept. I'm just tired. It's become very draining to translate these tomes. Don't worry about me. I can open the portal to the Isles for you straight away, if you'll allow me. Ugh, Zoxus, give me strength. I'm all right, Adept. I just didn't realize how tired I am. Let me answer your question with one of my own. Do you know of dementia and mania? Sorry, what? The Shivering Isles. The Oblivion Realm you've been exploring on Shea Gorath's mad errands is primarily divided into two spheres. In Mania, the colors are brighter than bright. Beautiful flowers bloom and creatures skitter through the underbrush. Dementia has dark shadows, overcast skies, and snarling beasts. 
Dark stone and rattling chains. That's why I'm so tired, adept. Last night, my dreams were of dementia and the chateau of the ravenous rodent. Uncle Robier's vegetable garden was surprisingly calming, but read into the subtext and things quickly become dark. It's the tale of a plantation. A plantation? The book describes a well-appointed guest house, a beautiful maze where you can while away the afternoon and a sprawling manse with rooms upon rooms. Make of that what you will. But this is the last book I have. But is the last book I have to retrieve right? Ariel, make me truthful, I think so. Sheogorath speaks madness and breathes insanity. But when a Daedric prince strikes a deal, they tend to keep their word. They tend to? Well, think about it. He didn't have to give you any of the books if he didn't want to. If he's gone this far with his little game, why would he stop now? Fair enough. Good. You've arrived. Welcome back to the Isles, Adept. We must be wary. This part of Sheogorath's realm is twisted and corrupt. Well, met Shalador. Do you have any sense of what I might be fa what what am I fa what we might face here? I'm not sure. I've never been to this part of the Shivering Isles before. We're after the final tome, though, so we have to assume he has something truly perverse waiting in the wings. Certainly, Velost has suffered enough. You were right. There is something wrong, wrong with Velost. Yes, it is as I said. She has worked herself night and day, and Sheogorath's dark intellect is focused through those tomes. They are like a stain on her mind. I think we have to... Wait. Do you feel that? Feel what? Not so fast there, Shalador. Only invited guests at the chateau. We have standards. Damn now. you, mad god. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Shabby. And up you go. <sighs> Just the two of us. Now we can talk in peace. Ah, my little mortal. I'm a man of many personalities, but I tell you what, they're all very fond of you. What's the game this time, Shirigrath? The game is a foot. Or a leg. In fact, all manner of severed limbs. But don't worry about that. I've brought you here because I've been watching you. You work too hard. You need a nice little vacation. A vacation? Of course! This is my chateau. It's me family's estate. Gets handed down from me to myself, and so on and so on. <laughs> I think you'll love it here. Or hate it. Oh, one of the two, certainly. All right, what's first? Up the road behind me is our guest quarters. But, but silly me! All three rooms are already occupied. Frankly, they've overstayed their welcome. One of them, though, oh, 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 just not fitting in. Could you do me a favor? Could you tell him to shove off? What's the catch? Catch? Such an untrusting soul. If there were a catch, I'd say it's the two of my guests are murderous cannibals. My advice? Don't let anyone eat you. If anyone tries to kill you, kill him right back. I'll keep that in mind. And remember, try to relax. <laughs> I remember correctly. He's on the right side or left side? One of the two. Be wary. Talk to these guests carefully before you try to throw anyone out. I can hear you, Shally! Don't bother my guests! You're the only one that thinks you're funny, mad god. Is someone out there? I can hear you moving. I think it's this one, maybe. Hello? Is someone there? I sent for room service hours ago. Are you enjoying your stay? Yes, actually. It's very pleasant. Some odd things here and there, but overall... Look! 
Are you room service or not? I'm supposed to evict one of Shigura's guests. They're not fitting in. What? Well, no throwing me out. Throw me out and I'll have my advocate drag you before the Alanor courts. We'll strip you of every coin you've ever earned. And every coin your sons will ever earn. Fine then. My advocate will be contact... I'll show myself out. But I'm not taking that dreadful portal. That's a perfectly good portal! I should know! I made it! It's been so long since we had guests. You would have loved my old uncle Leo back in the day. Charming dinner conversation. When he wasn't bringing up old girlfriends. Literally regurgitating them. <laughs> Nasty habit. I evicted your guests, guests. Guest what is next? Well, let's see. Now that you're settled in, you should tour the grounds. We have this lovely maze at the chateau. You simply must see it. So I have to navigate a maze. Why? Why do I need a reason for everything? Martyrs, martyrs, martyrs! Always needing a reason to do things! For example, people like to think light chases away the shadows. I prefer to think that without a few lights, there'd be no shadows to enjoy! <laughs> so the maze will be dark then. Oh, jolly good, you're getting it! I knew if we spent enough time together, you'd start to think like me. I have that effect on people. Mm. It's a bit too dark, actually. Why don't you light a few braziers as you go? Improve the ambiance. Whatever you say. Mind what bumps in the night now. Right. You've faced darkness before, Adept. Remember your training. No cheating, Shadowdor! Don't ruin this for me! All right. <sighs> Only two more to go. This trial is child's play. I'm gonna bind you to haunt a little old lady in Wayrest. Does that sound fun, Shally?
This looks like... Yeah, this is, um... Um... Oh, what's it called? Oh, hello. Um... Dunmer, uh, Dunmer ruins. your favorite part no no don't answer that i can see by the look on your face how happy you are i made it through what's left such confidence braggadocio gumption i like that the last place i'd like you to visit is our humble little manse just behind me that's a mansion i want you to meet the family so many fond memories there was that one time with the scalpel oh <laughs> And all of our family dinners. Ha! And of course, you get to play with the family heirlooms. Heirlooms? Aye, we have an old rhyme about them. <clears throat> Four lights in a row, poke one to make it glow. No, that's wrong. Uh, ah, maybe it was four lights in a trough, poke one to turn it off. <laughs> well, something like that. Um, I'll be sure to remember that. Remember. Vacations are about enjoying the little moments. Apparently, not everything is under your control. Not yet, anyway. There we go. Beautiful, aren't they? Isn't it beautiful? The most beautiful part of the chateau. You can see why I've held on to the place all these years. 
It's great. Can I have the book now? Now, just hold on there. Haven't you been wondering why it's called the Shadow of the Ravenous Rodent? I guess. Well, you should. And before I give you the last tome, before I reward you and Shelly for all your hard work, you need to meet one more member of my family. Let me tell you the story of old Uncle Leo. Sounds entertaining. Go on. Ah, a mortal after my own heart. Well, Uncle Leo was quite the ladies' man back in the day. He had a beauty in every town, from Windhelm to Stormhold. As the years went by and his looks began to fade, it got harder and harder to, uh, you know. Yes, I know. Right. Well, not getting the attention of the ladies the way he used to, it started to drive Leo a little bit batty. And that's when I stepped in. Can't have someone as well loved as Leo all lonely, right? I suppose. So, I offered him a little deer. I gave him back his looks is you. All he had to do was promise never to bed a maiden more than once. Simple, really. And he took the deal with gusto. <laughs> then, a few years later, he meets Mjol. He fell in love. Cheese for the smart skeever! Leo couldn't resist her. Thought he'd have an out on our deal if they got married. His flesh melted like wax on his wedding night. Became an atronach of my very own. Now? <laughs> all his girlfriends are rats! <laughs> you turned him into a flesh atronach, and now he loves rats. Uh, too much, I'm afraid. Uh, to be honest, it's become an embarrassment to the family. Uh, so, as the final act of a courteous guest... Go kill Uncle Leo, will you? Uh, let's go get this over with. Give me a look, my love, before you rip his skull open, will you? already murdered most of them <laughs> always sad to see a good man die Leo's death just now hilarious <laughs> I've toured the chateau may I have the book now I should make you fight floor walls on the open ocean I should make you run a gauntlet of angry Argonian concubines but I won't book's yours thank you Yes, yes, well, I'm sure you and Shalidor would be very happy with your new book. Of course, the last has been the one doing all the reading, right? Send her my best. And tell her to read real close on this last one. Give the last my best. You've returned. Do you have the book? I do. You've done it. We have them all. Now I just need to closely study the books together as a set. And we should be able to find Shalador's Island. Wish me luck, my friend. I'll need it this time round. You're looking a little better for lost? Yes, Adept. I recovered quickly after you left. I'm just... just feeling a little weary. This business with the books you've been collecting, it's taken a lot out of me. You said that before. What do you mean? These books are like word labyrinths. There are layers of meaning upon meaning, 
endless research avenues. He's laden these things with oblique references that only someone with my mastery of law would be able to understand. It's very tiring. You seem nervous when you're talking about this next book. Like I said, just a little weary. Don't worry, Adept. I'm up to the challenge. I'm one of only a handful of people in the whole of Tamriel that could have puzzled these out, in fact. We'll hmm. see it done. Adept, good Let to see you. I have great news for you, Adept. What's the net? What's the news? The last has finished final analysis of the tomes. We're ready to get my island back. And where can I find her? She's preparing a ritual space at the Riften Guild Hall in the Rift. I'll see you there, Adept. We're so close. You seem excited, it's Sh Shalador. Of course. This is what we've worked for all this time. Putting up with the mocking and insults. Sheagorath's poor attempts at humor. We'll recover the Isle, and the Guild will have a safe haven from the war. Your mind works in a music. What? What? <laughs> Adept. Shalador must have found you. Very glad to see you again. I've translated the final book, and we're ready to monkey rum butter. Alas, you've got worse. No, I'm... I'm just very tired. Thanks to Shalador, we were able to decipher the deeper ritual hidden within the tomes as a set. He's ready and waiting. Together you'll perform the ritual that will... <laughs> perform like a dancing midget. <laughs> <laughs> you need to rest. Just focus on the task at hand. I've prepared the ritual space, as you can see. Here are the books. Take them and place them on the pillars of light around the hall. They'll focus the power of the books for the Archmage. If you insist. I'll be able to rest soon enough, Adept. Shalador is the only reason I was able to finish. His enthusiasm and energy sustained me through this difficult trial. You seem even worse than the last time we spoke. Please, Adept, I'm going to be fine. But As you're not. Said, the translation of the books has taken a considerable toll. I'm exhausted, but it will be worth it. You're worse the than sanctuary. that. Uh. Magica. How I missed this. We've done it. We're finally ready to take back my island. What's the plan? I'll use the combined powers of the books and wrench the isle back to Tamriel. Sheogorath has lost, Adept. We're almost there. We can expect... What can we expect on the island? It's a lush place. Gorgeous and vibrant. We have guild members poised across Tamriel. Ready to join us there. It will be the perfect place for the guild to study in peace. It will... I... I know. She's very tired, even worse than before. But she's done masterful work in translating these books. And I'm sure she'll be an asset once we reach the island. 
She'll have plenty of time to rest soon enough. I suppose she has been garbling her words a bit. I just assumed that it was due to mortal frailty. I sometimes forget how fragile you are. We will watch over her together, my friend. I believe so. I'm sure you're as sick of the Mad God's games as I am. Now come, I will perform the ritual and open a portal to our new home. Thones, attend me! Now, I reclaim what was taken from me. I, Vea, hear my call! I don't think this is a good idea. Something is wrong. I sense adept, the lost. Follow me. Damn me for a fool. Why did I trust that madman? What do you mean? What do I mean? Look at this place. The island is overrun with Daedra. Sheogorath has given us the apple, but it's riddled with worms. What do we do? There's a grand hall in the center of the island. We'll be able to survey the situation better from that vantage point. You and Velost make your way up this path. I'll meet you there. See you there. Fascinating creatures, Deidre. Never thought I'd have the chance to study one of those up close. Another way, varieties of Daedra is wrong. This is not what we agreed to, Mad God. Leave this place. Careful, mage. Remember who you're talking to. <laughs> Our mortal friend has arrived. Be quiet now, Shally. Adults talking. Good. You and I can have reasonable conversations. Shavador is just too old and crotchety for me. What are you doing here, Shirogorath? We had a deal. You know, funny thing about deals. They're really the sorts of things you should get in writing. I said if you completed the trials, you could find the island. The portals to deepest oblivion scattered here and there. A sort of bonus. So this is another trial then. If you want to see it that way, sure. It's another trial. I'm sure you and Velast. Oh, hello, dearie. I'm sure you'll have no problems closing the portals. Honestly, I'm surprised the mistress of Incunabula didn't see this coming. Why are you so focused on Velast? No reason at all. What are you implying? 
that my choice to curse the books was a calculated move? That crazy old Shea Gorath knew there were only a handful of people in the guild that could do the work she did? Oh. What are you talking about? Oh, I'm sure you'll figure it out. You outwitted daffy old Shea Gorath, right? Anyway, pull the crystals to close the portals. Have fun. Damn it. What was I thinking? Attacking the Prince of Madness. Yegora said something about the loss and the, cur and the curse he put on the books. Wait, Adept. You're not making sense. What do you mean? Sheogorath put that curse on those books to slow us down. Make the task more time-consuming. He said he knew there, there were only a few people in the guild that could translate the books. Then the curse was meant to put the books in front of the lost. She was meant to read them. Adept, this is very worrying, but we need to deal with this after the island is safe. What about the lost? She'll be with you. She'll be fine for the moment. The lost. Go with our friend here to close the portals. The adept will keep you safe. What will you be doing? Sheogorath left a powerful ward on this building. I'll need a few moments to crack it open. Go. I should be done here by the time you return. We'll see it done. things? Any light or hope? my name. Whoa. 
sworn you were taller before. Portals, the light was so bright. Daedra has gone, has gone into night. Thanks to you, the island is ours. Now you'll just need to claim the hall and kick Shale Gorath back to the Shivering Isles. I'll need to claim the hall, and what about you and Velast? I've put a crack in his ward, but no more. The Mad God's power is formidable, even here. You and Velast may enter. I may not. Just make sure to watch after her. I can see the state she's in. As we dealt with the portals, she began to become more agitated, raving. I fear the Mad God may have gotten the better of us. But perhaps something can be done. Go inside. Deal with Shea Gorath. We've come too far to be put off by his tricks now. I'll take care of him. You can do this, Adept. You've proven yourself that you're up to this. Good luck. I can hear him. I'm coming, Uncle Shea. Shalidor finally figured out how to let you in. You're here to kick me out, I know. But you know, fighting isn't really my thing. Askel? Very good, sir. <clears throat> have at you, Adept. We will now face each other in honorable combat. On your guard. Askel? Oh, Askel! Show them what the Wabajack is. God damn it. Now you've got it on it. I never All right, that's it. I'll break it up you too. Enough with the game, Shea are you going to relinquish the island to us or not? All right, all right, settle down. I'll just gather me things and go. Velast! Deary, why don't you come over here? Uncle Shale, are we going somewhere? Yes, little one. You're coming with me. Home to the Shivering Isles. Won't that be nice? Mad God, stay back. The lost isn't yours to take. Isn't she, though? I can see it on her face. I can smell it in the air. She's crazy. Mad. A lunatic. <laughs> All that time with Uncle Shio's stories, and she's got the urge to visit the Isles. My shivering Isles. <laughs> I do. I want to go with Uncle Shao. He's got the butterflies. I love butterflies. Hmm. This is a conundrum. A riddle. A choice. I tell you what, mortal. Why don't we let you decide? Should Velas stay? Or come with me to the dear old Isle? In fact, let's sweeten the deal. You decide she stays, I'll cure her. That's right. Uncle Shao will make her sane again. Boring old Velast, whose only friends are books. Oh, dear. And if the adept decides she goes with you? Well, as it happens, I have one more book here. I give it to you in exchange for Velast. It's called The Folium Discognitum. Shale Gorath, you bastard! You throw the folium back in my face after all these years! Wrote it myself. It's a delightful little artifact. 
It imbues the reader with the knowledge of madmen. <laughs> it's very powerful. Worth, oh, four or five of those sky shard things you adventurers are always looking for. So, the last days and I cure. Wow, way to wait, break, break the fourth wall. She goes with me, and you, my little martyr, become much more. Your choice. Adept, you cannot listen to this offer. This is the exact same offer Shea Gorath made me when I first lost Ivea. What happened? Life for an archmage is measured in decades, not years. The rituals I performed extended my life, allowed me to continue my work. But eventually, even I began to slow down. And he offered you this folium. I began work on a powerful artifact. A key to the inner workings of life itself. Glamoril. But that's neither here nor there. The point is, I reached a critical juncture where even my knowledge and power failed me. And, I needed more. And in the bargain, you lost Ivea. Yes. I'd read all of the Accords of Madness. I knew the lessons of King Lyrandir, Leopold Arseno, Darius Shano, and still I failed. Don't make the mistakes we did, Adept. Reject this madman's off. Uncle Shea wants to take me to the Shivering Isles. So wonderful. The butterflies, they'll be everywhere. And he has so many books. The last? He stays if you stay, stay, you can come home. You can, if he, he says if you stay, you can become sane again. But Uncle Shea, he will keep me warm and he will keep me safe and I'll have so many friends to play with. Books are my friends, did you know? Adept, if I stay, if I stay, I don't know if... But perhaps with him, I'll be happy. Happy like the butterflies. They flap. Wait a minute. You're surprised, aren't you? Oh, the look on your face was precious. Of course, of course. What can I tell you? Just so you know, as you talk, I'm going to imagine there's a little person inside you, moving your mouth like a puppet. It helps keep me interested. <laughs> What's the catch? No catch, mortal. Not this time. Look, no matter what choice you make, Shalador is always going to know I got inside his head. Again. That's what I'm trading you the island for. This... This is just something between the two of us. Tell me more this, about this fall folium. Well, see, if you sit a madman down and listen to him ramble, he'll sometimes spout the most brilliant insights. I don't know if you notice, but I spend a lot of time around madmen. I mean, you are a madman. Aye, and there's some right insightful insights they are. You read through my folium and, oh, like I said, worth the power and zip of half a dozen sky shards. Easy. And if you, and if Alas stays, you can, you'll cure her. You've got it. No strings, no lingering magical afflictions, no nightmare beasties haunting her in her dreams. Ooh, that's always fun. But no, 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 no. I'll undo what my books did to her. Pair and square. If you deny the folium. Why would you do that? Be honest, mortal. I haven't had this much fun in years. <laughs> Your struggles to collect the books, getting to poke Shalidar with a stick. Oh, 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 oh. Do you remember the time I had you close all those portals on Ivea? <laughs> oh, good times. I'm ready to make my decision. Right, a mortal making a decision. Free will and agency. Now then, does the last stay, become sane again, and live her life out here? Or does she go with me, and you receive the power of the folium discognitum? Which will it be? The last stays. Ha! I knew you wouldn't take the book. Could see it in your eyes. Oh, well, can't blame Uncle Sheo for wanting to give his favorite niece a good home now. 
As you wish, Martha. I'll undo what's been done to her. The mortals decided to let the last stay. So, this is where I say my goodbyes. Mortal, nice working with you. Shalidor, never change. The last, sorry dear, say goodbye to the little dreamy. The Prince of Madness doesn't stay where he's not wanted. <laughs> Except when he does. But in this case, he don't. Until next time, Mageling! It's like... It's like a fog has lifted from inside my mind. Adept, I don't know what to say. You've saved me from a fate worse than death. The lost. Are you... Yes, I'm all right, Shalador. I'm myself again. Don't worry, Adept. I'll be fine soon enough. Now that you've restored my mind, I just need some rest. You're welcome, Velas. You've passed the challenges of the Ooh. Mad God, restored me to sanity, and reclaimed this sanctuary for the Mage's Guild. Somehow my thanks seem small in comparison, but you have them. Thank you, Adept, for all you've done. God fucking damn it. <laughs> We can get rid of these poisons. I mean, I was collecting a lot of shit. You know what? I have a better idea. Ooh, the cliff. Oh, okay. Don't worry, you've passed the challenge. I can't stay in here, Adept. Let us speak some more outside. Come here, Adept. I have something for you. Adept, you've done so much for the guild. I couldn't let you leave without a final gift. This old archmage has a spell he's been saving just for you. A gift? During my time on Tamriel, I developed a very useful spell. A memory charm of sorts. Rather than wasting my time puttering around in libraries trying to find a book, the spell allows me to recall it instantly. If you'll allow me. Just need a moment to prepare. This spell has proven very handy. Once saved my life and they came up against a rhyming spirit. She demanded every answer to her questions be answered with a couplet. There we go. I'm ready. Call it Shalador's Library of the Mind. <laughs> Shores, bones, I can't thank you enough. In time, the body you and Velast have formed for me will fade. But with this charm, you'll never forget our trials together. I take comfort in that. Are you ready? Then accept the gift of eidetic memory. Remember now every tome, every book, every scrap of paper you have ever read. And remember too, 
The tale of Iveus returned to Tamriel, and the story of the adept who made it happen. Don't be a stranger, adept. Ivea is another home for you now, as it is for every mage in Tamriel. Cool. Don't worry, adept. I'll be fine. Anyways. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, well, that is the Mage's Guild. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this episode, guys. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you all in the next one. Fantastic day, guys. Goodbye.